Um, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Mathieu Bonicel. I'm head of innovation at the Bibliothèque Nationale de France in Paris, in Paris the French National Library. Um, I will be presenting with Regis Robineau, who's the web coordinator of Biblissima, uh, which is a project the BNF has been a lot involved uh, in the past few years and which is our main contribution to IIIF in France um, till this day. So um, I'll give you a brief overview of what is Biblissima. So Biblissima is a um, national project, including nine major research and library institutions in France, University of Lyon, University of Tours, several research labs in Paris, University of Caen, and the, the BNF, the National French Library. It's trying to um, go again on the track of people that have been before us doing a uh, history of collections and books um, since the 17th century. Um, you have here two of the major books that were made about history of collections and history of books. And uh, what we're doing today is more or less the digital version of it, trying to map uh, anything a researcher would need, uh, trying to find his way on a very difficult map of the content available to do research on medieval and Renaissance materials. So this is the digital observatory that we're trying to build up that will be released at the end of January 2017. But there's already a few demos you can see online, and Regis will show you that later on. So um, this is the project. And what is inside the cluster, what we call the data cluster, is three major digital libraries. I will um, uh, tell you more about it in a few seconds. Uh, more than 30 catalogs and specialized databases, which are manuscript databases or special databases about illumination or provenances, for example, inside this. Most of them uh, are quite old now. The, the, the most ancient ones are probably 25 to 30 years old. So we're trying to uh, merge into this big tool that we're building up uh, all the, the resources, the major resources that are made in France over the past decades, and more than 10 um, digital edition platforms, more of that, most of them are in TI. There's a, there's a link here if you want to go and see the full list of resources that we are aggregating. Um, so I will talk only about images today because it would be too long to talk about uh, a bit more uh, about uh, our other contents. Um, we have three major digital libraries. Um, the central one is Gallica, the one from the BNF. You may know about it. Um, but the two others are also very important. The BVMM is the Bibliothèque Virtuelle des Manuscrits Médiévaux. It's the um, medieval manuscript digital library of the IRHT, the Institute for History of Research and Texts, which is the major medieval lab in, Pierre, in France. Uh, it hosts the other half of the medieval manuscripts that we have, because you may know that in France, half of the medieval manuscripts are kept in the BNF, and the other half is kept in all the other libraries in France. And the, the IRHT has been the operator for digitizing manuscripts uh, that are not kept in the BNF. So today, their websites is the other half of the digital collection available uh, in France. And the third one is the BVH, is the Renaissance Digital Library uh, run by the University of Tours, which is quite original because it merged, it's the only one until now uh, in these three um, uh, digital libraries that is mixing together images and digital editions and trying to give an overview of both texts and images in terms of data. These three uh, digital libraries are made compatible with IIIF, both metadata and image APIs, and merge into a Mirador viewer that we're currently implementing on the Biblicima web portal. So uh, there's just a couple of screenshots of uh, these interfaces today, organized as silos, as, uh, as Tom told you. And um, Regis will show you what they look like in an interoperable version. So that's the BVMM. You have here the link that you can try and test. I'm, I'm not lying. Uh, <laughs> to see if they're compatible or not. Uh, the IRHT IRH has even made uh, a collection unit, so you can try and see the collection through a link here. Um, Gallica is, is uh, in terms of full interoperability, is a newcomer. Uh, we finished the uh, metadata API last month, so we're now fully compatible, which makes about, I don't know, more than three million documents available for IIIF, including 75,000 manuscripts uh, and nearly 2 million 
of press and I think 350,000 objects as well, available for IIIF. So um, these are the, the URLs what you can um, try and test the, 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 the data. And we're also using IIIF um, for other projects uh, such as Retro News, which is a, a um, platform about press and history of press. Europeana is going to serve AAAF content, so we're going to deliver AAAF to them uh, very soon. Uh, we are going to make our uh, portable version of Gallica, which is uh, a version of Gallica that we can install for external partners. If they want to have their own digital library system, we can uh, uh, install uh, the Gallica API uh, on their services. So. Um, we're going to make uh, this uh, compatible in IIIF both ways, which means we will be able to expose data, but also able to grab data. And we're going to do a test with this, doing a project with the British Library that's just been granted by the Polonsky Foundation. We're going to digitize uh, about 800 manuscripts dating previous uh, 1200, so ancient medieval manuscripts, um, 400 in each library, and we are going to do uh, Mirador or uh, a Gallica Marc Blanche uh, viewer that will be able to present uh, these 800 manuscripts that will be released, I think, at the end of 2018. Um, and that's the, 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 the BVH, so the last um, um, digital libraries, which is presenting, as you can see, uh, both images and texts. And this is yet in progress, but it will be done this year. And this is the last thing I would like to tell you before we pass on to demos. Um, it's the, 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 the way we see uh, interoperable portals in a new way in France now, because we have um, quite a, a, um, a big challenge trying to see what interoperability means for users' needs. So we're trying to focus on users' needs and interoperability as two legs of the way we're programming the portal now. So we have, as you can see on the left, a big amount of data going into the portal through uh, an ontology that we've developed based on CDOC, CRM, and FRBROO um, that leads to an XML format that we're using to feed the beast, uh, which is, uh, this beast is two legs. One is Mirador for viewing images, and the other one is a, is a is a data tool that is trying to align data and, and merging into a, into a research index called Cubic Web. It's an open source software that, we, that we're using here and that allows us to present the data in a, in a aligned and friendly way, as, as friendly as possible for researchers. So of course, we're going to do uh, as much as we can in terms of user's interface in queries, queries via API, global search, etc. But I think the most important thing for us, and that's something we realized quite late, in fact, is that we do not want to do interoperability uh, by putting everything in a silo. I mean, grabbing everything from external sources and putting them in a, in a new silo. The idea is to be able to deliver the data as fast as we can out of our tool. For researchers to be able to reuse the data as smoothly as they can, and yes, we'll make them available to download in lists, even Excel lists, because that's what they want. They want to, to grab lists and data. So RDF, of course, is images, web services, whoever. But we will try and make this available as, as much as we can because we think that um, functionality is enabling you to grab the data out of what you found through an interoperable interface is maybe the more important, most important thing uh, in, a, in, a, in a common tool uh, built nowadays. So this is for the main presentation, and now I will leave Regis uh, show you a bit more about what we do here. So first, I'd like to show you a demo illustrating the potential of shared canvas and IIIF. It's based on an interesting case study involving a damaged manuscript, which is now held at the public library of Châteauroux in France. It's a 15th century copy of a popular work called the Grande Chronique de France. The manuscript's 14 illuminations were cut out at some point in the past and eventually ended up at the BNF in the 19th century. The full manuscript and the individual cuttings have recently been digitized and made available online in the BVMM and in Gallica, respectively. 
And since the IIIF APIs have been implemented for these two digital libraries, it's now possible to retrieve the objects remotely and display them side by side, side by side in a Mirador viewer. As you can see in this, in this screenshot with the damaged page on the left and the corresponding cutting on the right coming from Galeka. But we can do better. We can attempt to virtually reconstruct the original manuscript by repositioning the miniatures on top of the corresponding gaps in the mutilated pages. And thanks to development work by Stanford University last year, uh, it's now possible to do this kind of reconstruction within an image viewer. So this demo shows all the mutilated pages of the manuscript. And if I click on the show the miniatures button, I can retrieve and display all the cuttings as they would have been in the original manuscript. And then I can select a page, zoom in, switch the miniature on and off if I want to do that. I can read a caption go to the next page, and so on. <coughs> next, I want to show you another demo of the first Biblissima prototype released last summer. It's simply an experiment uh, focusing on medieval illuminations. It provides unified access to a subset of data from two iconographic databases that are part of Biblissima, Initial and Mandragor. And here is a short demo to show you how it works. So the home page offers uh, several entry points by manuscript, by artist, places of origin, and so on. But if I'm interested in a specific location, there is a map showing all the places depicted in the illuminations. And for example, let's say I'm interested in the Mont Saint-Michel, the famous island in Normandy. We, s we can see that there are uh, 15 illuminations for this location. And if I click on the link, it gives me a detailed list of the illuminations that I can filter if needed using the facets on the left. And for example, we see uh, a manuscript folio from the BNF with the caption construction of the Mont Saint-Michel. And if I click, the corresponding page gives me metadata about the illumination and related links. And I also have a view of the, of the full digitized manuscript in Mirador, open at the right folio, so I can view the illumination in context. So we are currently working on extending and enhancing this prototype, which will become the Biblissima portal uh, by early 2017. Of course, it will include much more data from the Biblissima's cluster of databases with data about uh, textual works, about people, about places, manuscripts, uh, ancient inventories, historical collections, and medieval libraries. Uh, we are also uh, currently working on data visualizations uh, showing the life of a textual work or uh, following the circulation of a book in time and space. Uh, we are also integrated, integrating the Biblissima graphic design into the web application. And Mirador will be uh, the main viewer of this portal. It will allow users to view digital objects 
from the three image repositories that Mathieu mentioned before, and of course from any IIIF compatible digital library around the world. So Mirador will be integrated into web pages in the same way as, as you've seen in the demo, as a kind of iframe, but we also intend to use it as a workspace. Therefore, forthcoming developments will include features like the ability to select items from search results and add them to a fully featured Mirador workspace. And finally, we also have fur further ideas or plans to provide a better user experience with features such as a permalink system so that users can benefit from a citable viewing workspace, including the ability to crop and cite regions of interest or to embed a specific mirade or view in another website. And we are also interested in a full page transcription, transcription view to be able to view TI, TI transcription from the BVH of early printed books. And thank you very much for your attention.